What is good everyone? I'm glad you're tuning in to the first ever leg day shown on my video, so I hope you enjoy. Um, but this life story is following up with my last life story of being charged with arson. I got a comment uh, asking to tell the follow-up of what happened, so um, I wasn't even sure if I wanted to share it because it is probably one of the most significant, craziest, um, deepest, one of them, deepest parts of uh, my whole life story in general, but I'm going to tell it because uh, I respect any of my viewers and I just want to share, uh, you know, part of me. So um, basically, um, during the time uh, I got charged with arson, I was already heading down a pretty bad path. Um, you know, I was in BD classes um, in middle school and in high school, which means behavior disorder. I was always getting in trouble, you know, ISSs, uh, which is in-school suspensions. I had a bunch of out-of-school suspensions. Um, you know, my disrespect for my parents was bad. And I also had two vandalism charges as a minor as well. Um, they actually fingerprinted me, like I mentioned, after I got charged with arson at the police station. And I ended up breaking a park light at a skate park. I threw a rock and it broke a light. And like an idiot, <clears throat> I just left the rock there and I dipped from the park. And they actually fingerprinted the rock and found my fingerprints on the rock. And I know that sounds crazy, but yeah. So I got charged with vandalism for that. And then um, I actually ended up... Uh, throwing a baseball and it broke my neighbor's window who I was actually on bad terms with and they pressed charges on me and I got in trouble for that as well. So with all these things stacking up against me and my behavior, my parents were very worried about me and I had to go to court for all of these things. So it, this, what I'm about to tell you, wasn't court-ordered, but I was basically going down the path where I was going to be in some type of juvie place or um, some type of treatment facility, and my parents didn't want that because they, uh, you know, wanted to make sure, you know, I didn't get court-ordered to go anywhere. So basically, um, I got sent to a wilderness therapy program. What a wilderness therapy program is... Um, is honestly insane. I lived on a mountain for five straight months. I didn't see a car. I didn't see a TV. I didn't even have normal food. I ate rice and beans and oatmeal every single day for five straight months and only drank water. Um, now, the camp itself is literally on a mountain, when I kid you not. I mean, I literally only slept in a tent and was outside in any type of weather every day. Rain, snow, blizzards. I mean, we would get evacuated from our camp at 2 in the morning because of blizzards. Um, this place was in Colorado in the middle of winter. So um, basically your form of life there is literally so unlike anything you can ever imagine. I mean, our days were recorded on a point card, and um, anytime you would do something wrong or, you know, not follow directions, you would lose points. And if you lost 75 points, which actually isn't that hard to do, you would fail your day. And anytime you would fail a day there throughout your weeks, you would fail the week. And anytime you fail a week, you have to stay at that camp and redo that week for an extra week. So you're basically there an extra week. And every time you know, you fail a week, you're there, like I said, an extra week. So I actually failed week one six times. So I was there six extra weeks um, just on week one. So that's pretty crazy in itself. Just the form of life there, if I can mention this again, is literally just so, literally it's a change of everything. Food, I mean, showering you would shower in the wilderness guys like i mean we had a wilderness shower which is basically just like this plastic thing hung in a tree you would warm up a bucket of water on a fire pit that we would dig and we would start the fires ourselves. with uh imagine that i learned new ways to start a fire in a wilderness after getting charged with arson but um that's just making light of the situation but um 
you know, I learned how to bow drill, which is like, I can actually show you any of you guys that know what that is or don't look it up. It's pretty cool. I still have my bow that I made. I actually carved it out of wood. Um, but it's a way to make fire and survive in the wilderness. Um, but yeah, I was there for five weeks, guys, and this video is about to be over. Um, but I want to be able to tell you actually more about this if you guys are interested. Um, cause I mean, just this video doesn't sum up all of the stories that I could tell you about my experience. So if you're interested in hearing them, let me know in the comments below. If you watched the video all the way through and liked it, throw me a thumbs up. Um, and I hope you guys enjoyed. So I'll be talking to you guys later and, uh, take it easy.